Hello, I'm David Pogue. Now ordinarily I don't talk much about the inner workings of how we make these weekly videos, but this one was kind of a funny story. See, I'm reviewing these cameras that are supposed to do especially well in low light without the flash. But the problem is the camera crew usually arrives in broad daylight, like 11 a.m. Broad, sunny, bright daylight. And I was despairing. I'm like, how am I going to do a skit or a segment about these low light cameras when it's the middle of the day? So I was moaning to my wife about this and she goes, seance. Damn, she's good. Enjoy. Thank you for coming to see Madame Glenda. I shall be your guide to the spirit world. Are you all prepared for your supernatural journey? Sure. Yeah, excellent. Are you all prepared? Who do we want to contact on the other side? I want to know if my great-grandmother is at peace. I want to reach my great-uncle Harold, who died in 89. I'm just looking for my car keys. So we begin! Eyes closed. Hmm. Hoo. What the hell is that little boy thing? Hi, I'm Timmy. I'm from the spirit world. What are you doing? What? I, I gotta get a shot of that. That camera's not gonna work in here. It's way too dark. It's just gonna be a big blur or, or a grainy mess. W what if I use the flash? No flash photography. Oh, man. Why can't they make a little camera that can take decent shots in low lights without a flash? Dude, you know what you need? This. Sony WX-1, it's brand new. They redesigned the sensor in here to be twice as sensitive in low light, and it really works. Check it out. Here's a picture from a regular camera, picture from the Sony. Here's a shot from a regular camera, same thing on the WX-1. So they actually pulled it off, 350 bucks. Well, that, that's kind of steep. Oh, I know, but it does all these other cool things too. It's got this panorama mode. You just hold down the shutter button and swing your arm like this, and it goes like click, 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 takes a bunch of pictures and stitches them together in the camera automatically. No way. Way. And it also has a really cool burst mode. It'll take 10 full res shots in one second. It's great for like analyzing your golf swing or stopping speeding motion. So what's not to like? Well, it does have some glitches, like those panorama shots, not such high resolution. And also it has a smile detection feature. It's supposed to wait to take the shot till the subject smiles. Doesn't really work. And the thing that bugs me, it uses Sony's proprietary non-standard memory card format. That's kind of a drag. Let me see that. What about seeing into the future? Uh, the future. Uh, in the future, uh, cameras will get much better at taking pictures in low light. That's it? That's your prediction? Fine. Uh, you're all going to meet tall, handsome strangers. Oh, come on. What about channeling the afterlife? What? I lost the signal. It happens. Say cheese.